All right, hello everybody. Peter here once again for another one of these little real-time something or others. Today I'm going to do a scratch board. This one is, uh, well, I don't know what's underneath it. I think it's a sparkly one. Let's just start and find out and uh, let's see what happens. Let's just hop right into it. This is going to be a real-time video. I'll be with you here uh, every step of the way. Fear, fear not. Everything's gonna be okay. Here's one I did a minute ago. I uh, it, I recorded it, but I was gonna do a real-time version of this one too, but I had a little bit of technical difficulties and uh, it didn't work out, but there you go. That's what that one turned out to be. Anyways, let's just start, all right? It's definitely got a different texture than these other ones which I was doing the other day. Definitely a little bit different. Different materials, who knows how they make these things. You, people are always comment about how different ways you can make them on your own with like crayons and uh, I don't know how you do them. Obviously there's like a little crafts you can do and make them. All right, one broad swipe and we've got a line, a line started across the middle there. I didn't, uh, I don't know. All right, that, that's it though. All right, no, it's not it. Like, that's not the end. It's, it's nothing more than the beginning, my friends. Mm-hmm. I hope you're all having a good day. Today is Tuesday for me, I believe. But I just realized some of you may even be watching this. It's not far-fetched to think that some of you may be watching this, well, even on even on something like a Thursday. So I hope you're doing well if you're watching this on a Thursday. I really do. But uh, I have noticed this scratch scratch card with the black covering does seem to be a little bit different than the ones I did earlier with the white covering, um, just in the way um, the covering, is that the right word? Just the way the material comes off, like that stuff would come up in nice curly cue strings. This just comes up in little, kind of little nuggets. Very interesting. It's still very satisfying though. You can see it's very sparkly under here. Let's see what we can get into. I kind of want to make it kind of swirly and swoopy. It kind of gathers on the tip of this thing. There you go. Nice, slow, easy motions for the lines. It's okay. Everything's great. Hmm. I don't know if you can hear my neighbors upstairs. Just They just walk across the floor and the floor just creaks away. Just one of those things, all right. Kind of want to draw a little bumps here. Just making sure everything's recording. It is. Sometime I just want to scrape one of these cards all the way clean just because I think it would be satisfying. Just the, just the feeling of scraping the stuff off. Maybe I'll take one of the ones I don't like so much and just finish. No, I want it to be a clean one. You know, one I haven't done anything to it. Just, just draw lines, scraping it all the way clean. That could be cool. I think I'd like that. It seems some sort of therapy. Scratch, scratch card cleaning. It's good for the heart, good for the soul, and good for the mind. It's good if we say it is. 
<laughs> That's how simple it seems to be. All right. Just kind of swirling everything together. Sure is pretty. The other one I drew there was, uh, this one was kind of a, a not pretty subject, but still with pretty glittery stuff. It was kind of a, a weird juxtaposition, you know what I mean? Like this, this guy looks pretty messed up and weird bulbous flesh and maybe even gory, like I don't know what this is, uh, but still it's all glittery, right? This one, not so, I don't want to make too many claims about what's going on here yet. I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure. We'll have this little brush for brushing the, the crusties off. Really, if you get the light to hit this just the right way, it really, it really does light up in all sorts of different colors. I'm like moving around now to get it. There's all sorts of different experiences in there. Some more little bumps. I call these bumps. You can put them into different drawings all sorts of different ways. Bumps and lumps. Not always a bad thing. But still, check your mayonnaise. One time I thought I was eating, um, you can get like liquefied, what's that stuff called? Like liquefied marshmallows, marshmallow whip. It was just mayonnaise that had gone bad. Those midnight trips to the, to the refrigerator can be risky sometimes. almost hurts to look at sometimes it's so bright. Ooh, the whole table is rattling. Sometimes I get it, get into it. Hmm, kind of add a little undulation on top here. Very good. Very satisfying. I really just like drawing lines. That's what it comes down to. I'm not too concerned with how it looks afterwards, but sometimes it looks fun. Sometimes it does. I don't know if I should have done that. That happens to me fairly often, like, huh, should I have done that? But then you just got to learn to keep moving forward with the drawing. You do. It's an important thing to learn how to do. Mm-hmm. Options, options. Infinite options everywhere. The only option you don't have is to go backwards. I guess when a, with a piece like this, you could use some Sharpie as quote unquote white out, you know, to cover up something, some option, some decision you made that you didn't like, but I don't think I'll ever do that in a situation like this anyways. It just doesn't seem right. I'm not saying you shouldn't. You totally can. Well, I guess I'm doing more of these. Sometimes I, I like half consider an option 
of like what little patterns or something to do next and then I find myself doing it before I've really even thought it through very far. And I realize, well, I guess that's what we're doing. I guess that's what's happening. I guess we're doing a very wide outline right now, this pattern. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's fine to sit back every now and then, take a little break. Take a break for five seconds, 30 seconds, a year. It doesn't matter. Just kind of feel the whole feeling of the drawing, you know. Where do you want it to blossom out to next? I want this to blossom out this way. So we're going to go, we're going to go like this. A little more outlining. Let me some good outlining. Some curly cues. It's making fun sounds. It must be the texture of the little glitter. It's like it's like smushed down glitter underneath. Pretty neat. Hmm. Can hear people outside. Kind of bring all this together. Maybe, maybe embolden some of these lines. Sometimes you realize after you embolden a line or after you draw a line at all, you realize maybe I didn't want to do that. It's too late. It's too late. Keep it in mind for next time. Swoop this down and around. I think I want to draw a bunch of lines really close to each other right here. Just kind of snug them up. Nice and neat. If I can. Hopefully they don't touch, but if they do touch, it won't be quite the end of the world. It'll be close, but not quite. If they do touch, we can figure out how to make it work and make it look like it was on purpose. You know, everything is a little bit on purpose because I mean, I was the one moving the, moving this little stick that, that I'm using as a pen. So if I made them touch, obviously, I don't know. Those came really close to touching because sometimes a little, their lines get unexpectedly bigger the way the little, the material kind of peels up off the paper. It's not like a, a constant line width here. I feel like I'd be really good at doing scratch-offs now. Next time I'm taking this little thing. All right. Make sure I get right to the edge there. Oh yeah. That's getting it good. So these lines aren't as crisp as I wanted. Well, they're crisp. The edges are crisp, but they're also like not completely even. But to the untrained eye, perhaps 
no one will notice. Sometimes you make mistakes as an artist that you only notice because you're the ones that make, made them. And then when anyone, anyone else comes along and looks at the piece, uh, they don't even look at them, you know, because they're looking at the whole drawing and uh, they just think it's part of the art or something. You know, they, they're not the ones that sat there and poured themselves into the drawing and made those mistakes. Uh, it's easier to beat yourself up over little things like that that no one else will ever notice, but sometimes, and then other people will come along and totally notice little things that you didn't even think were mistakes, so it's fine. Don't, don't you worry. Mistake, mistakes will be found and not the ones you thought were there. It's just, life is just, whatever. I'm just going to scrape all that away. It's fun to scrape away some bigger chunks, too. I think I'm going to scrape away the, the rest of these little chunks in the corners of this thing. Sometimes I leave them. Sometimes I take them away. This time I'm taking them. I'm taking them with me. Mm-hmm. I might come back to a lot of this later. Um, let's see here. Kind of feeling the vibe or not. You can feel the vibe and go with it, or you can totally go against it. This is more with it than against it, whatever I'm doing right here, I feel like, but it doesn't really matter. I feel like I drew a tonguey thing the last one of these I did. Not intentional. Maybe it's only a tonguey thing because I think it is. Is it less tonguey if I draw another one next to it? No, more tonguey. Weird, weirdly or tonguey? Nobody knows. I ask a lot of questions in these things and they're just, I'm just greeted with silence. It's kind of weird. Don't you think? Hmm, I guess so. No news is good news. Make a big solid sparkly circle right here. Just because, just because that's a good enough reason when it comes to art. A lot of people get stressed out about just because art. They're, they say, what does it mean? What is it supposed to be? Why? They say, why? I think there has to be a lot more why when it comes to art. Who, what, where, when, why? There doesn't... Maybe for it to be meaningful or good, but there doesn't have to be a why. Or a what. Or like, what does it mean? I don't know. Draw some more of these little... I call these lines parallel, even though technically I feel like parallel lines shouldn't be curvy. Like parallel lines are two lines that never intersect, even though these lines do intersect because they're curved. Like what are two lines called that curve along next to each other? Is there a geometrical term for that? I don't know. I feel like the word parallel only applies to straight lines. Sometimes you just gotta get wavy with it. A little splishy splash here. Let's expand.
and this thing up here. Interesting sound from it. Scrapey scrape. It really does make me wonder how they made this paper with the uh, it's just like flat glitter squished down. I just, I can I can I can see it now. Some sort of hydraulic press, and then just a pile a, a bottle of glitter poured out under a hydraulic press, and then it's just a piece of paper afterwards. And then they pour a bunch of soot, like charcoal or whatever this is, on top. And then we then here I am scraping it away. I don't see why that couldn't be it. One more outline here. For good measure. Couple here. I like that. I'm going to outline this tongue thing. It's not a tongue, it's a tongue thing. Unidentified tongue object. No one really knows. All right. Yes. Add some of these on top of these. Never hurt nobody. You know what I'm thinking? I've been playing, playing with this idea around in my mind for the past few moments. I'm thinking I might scrape away a great deal of this for contrast's sake. Like all this black area here, I might scrape away and it might make the rest of it pop a bit more. And I'm doing it already and I can confirm that it is indeed quite satisfying. And I'm all about that. I'm all about that life. Yeah, that's, that's the good stuff right there. Let's see the glitter. Let's see it. Show yourself. This is what I needed. Just some good scratch board scratching. That's scratching the right spot. A little higher, a little lower, right there.
This is almost as satisfying as power washing. If you guys are into this sort of thing, I would recommend power washing. Actually, this is pretty close. But power wash, there's just something about power washing. Just extremely satisfying. My my thumb is like numb. You can see there's like a there's like a, a channel dug into my thumb from where I'm holding this little this little stylus. Totally worth it. These little, sorry, I left a few bits behind back there. It's probably driving some people crazy. Both stuck on there and just loose bits. Probably driving some people absolutely bonkers. I missed a lot of little bits. There's like little microscopic bits, almost. I'm glad I decided to do this. It gives it a whole nother look. It really does. It made it, it made the background silver, where the background used to be black, and now this is the, now the black stuff is the foreground. It like totally transformed the whole drawing doing this. It's crazy. Absolute madness. See, but there's there's always a risk. There could have been that this would make doing this would make the drawing look uh, awful. You know, I could have regretted it immensely, but I don't regret it. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. 
You just learn to go, go with it. Roll with the punches. Don't worry about it too much. There's always the next drawing. That's the good part, you know? Sometimes get, people get too frustrated about, you know, not liking their own drawings. I don't like har hardly any of my drawings. However, I do like drawing, so I keep doing it. And the frustration from not liking my drawings, I channel it, you know, into moving forward to the next drawing. I like it, I like it a lot. A few little touch ups. Sometimes the touch-ups don't make it look better. I'm not, I'm not saying necessarily that was the case here. I think everything's looking fine. I'm excited about this piece. This is awesome. All right. Fabulous. Phew. Okay, okay. Yes, yeah, this, that, a little bit of the other. I'm not going to mess with it too much more. I like some of the bold blackness, some of the bold glitter, some of the little finer details and lines there in between. Pretty, pretty cool. That's 30 minutes well spent. That's 30 minutes well spent. Anyways. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Hope you all have a good day. It's Peter Draws. Uh, check it out. Until next time. Have a good day.